Okay, what we've got here um, in this video is uh, the magnetic compass module that is used on the PBS-14, uh, PBS-7, uh, different series of that unit. Uh, anyway, it's a again a magnetic compass um, with a night vision device. Uh, your front optic, this slips over the outer diameter of that. Uh, press it on rather snugly. Um, you'll notice there is a lanyard hole uh, that they use to attach to keep from losing them. A very good idea. Um, nothing like being lost and you don't know which way to go because you lost your compass. Okay, so moving along. What uh, the reason for this video is changing the batteries in these units. Uh, they do go bad shelf life. Uh, I don't know, uh, several years, um, three or four perhaps, then you have some use. Um, uh, they just they go bad you know temperature uh, altitude humidity etc all these factors anyway what we're going to do is open this up and change the battery um, you place it you can see the orientation there's uh, the reflective uh, comp or, uh, uh, mirror and lens assembly here that will be up you place it flat down take a box knife um, you don't need to put a lot of pressure on this you keep your fingers out of the way you understood why uh, right at this seam, you can see it right here, is where there's epoxy between the lower cap and the main body of the unit where the electronics module's at. You just basically press on that and give it a bit of a twist. The epoxy will break loose because epoxy is plastic, and then you're just sealing and joining the two pieces with that. Uh, it doesn't melt it or anything. It's just a filler um, adhesive. Anyway, you can see it'll break loose. You pull it out. Um put this aside for the moment I'll explain a couple of things um, again on that mirror uh, lens assembly that was on the top of it uh, you can see the magnetic compass uh, pointer shape unit here um, that's it attached to it they've uh, glued to it a, a, a clear plastic lens or a, a piece of plastic that's circular and around the circumference of that is uh, degree uh, indicators of course uh, shows the heading as you're you know through this um, I don't know if you can see it there's a small oval hole you see through that uh, reflective uh, that's the light that the uh, light emitting diode will shine through that into that lens it'll go into your night vision device of course then you'll get your bearing where you're heading okay uh, put that down for the moment the electronics module sits inside this cup on the back of the cup you can see the contact pressure switch so you push on that uh, the module will pop right out and put that back down this is a pressure sensitive contact switch it's it's uh, resistive in nature the harder you push on that the more current will go through the brighter the light will be the led and which is right there by the way um if you're setting this and looking the battery's been removed from this one uh just it's simpler to explain this if you set this down you see there's a flat side on you know on both sides hold it um you can you can see this gold plated spring there's this hole that's where the battery goes and this is the battery by the way they call it a pin battery uh, the de designation on this one is a br425 and a bravo romeo 425 i usually buy a cr um, charlie romeo 425 uh, just because they're easier to get a hold of than the than the Bravo. Anyway, uh, the backside would be against the spring. The pin goes internal, goes in first. So it's really uh, not hard to do. Um, you can hold that off to the side, and um, yeah, it would be better if I had a small vise. I do have one. I just don't have it with me. Don't have it set up. So. Uh, anyway, in a case where you don't have that kind of stuff and you're in a hurry, eh, sometimes it's, uh, it's a good idea to know how to do this without uh, having a bench. Hold it down, take the battery, slide it in. Release the spring, gold-plated spring. Now, just as a measure, what I do is not, and you don't really have to put, you know, your full body weight on this. Spring, put the, push the spring back in place and push down on it. To make sure that it's seated and oriented properly 
Now, I don't know if you can see this. I'll shadow it. If you can see that LED, red LED. See it shining? Okay, that it doesn't. It's not very bright. It doesn't have to be bright. Again, you're looking through this through a night vision scope. Okay, so understood. All right. Um, on this unit, on the module, you'll notice that there's a small index pin. Um, you can use this as reflective. Uh, you can see this here. The reason I put these down, face down, oriented like this, inside here, this inner circumference, um, there is a, a uh, indexing notch. This key will fit in that notch. When you put this back into the cup, like so, hold it so that that notch, and this is face down, the notch will index, will go in that index hole and push it back in. Already. All you have to do then is uh, mix a bit of epoxy and uh, with a toothpick or a nail, I mean very, very gently, just little mounts and run it inside that, just inside here, all the way around. Um, if it falls out, don't, don't, you know, don't sweat it. Just put it back in enough where you can get all the way around it. Push it in, leave it set for several hours. Uh, can, you, can you test it and make sure it's working? Sure. I don't know that you can see this, uh, but it is working. Um, I can see it with my eyes. I think the, perhaps just enough um, daylight here, or the, the desk light to, uh, overriding it. Anyway, there you are. I'll put that back on, and you're ready to go. Have a good one.